Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm continuing my Crashlander survival adventure, uh, where I now have the security key to the warehouse that I couldn't really explore too much. Well, I explored a lot of it, but didn't get anything significant because, uh, all the doors were locked. But now, Bill has given me the key to, sec to the security room, which, uh, apparently has access to all the other keys, and I have Bill stuck in a permanent state of confusion here, unfortunately. Uh, what's he have to say about it? Nothing. But uh, we're going to have a raid soon, so obviously I'm going to do that first. Oh, there's my fancy security room key card. Also, I did read the comments on the last episode to uh, get a feel for everything I did wrong last time. And apparently that main thing was when I was looking at the smelter, uh, I made the mistake of only looking at the recipe requirements and not looking at the output when I was comparing it to the other workbench. If I want to make metal block... Uh, I will get 20 metal block using only 7 coal and 10 raw metal. And over here, I get 15 using 10 and 10. Now, the thing that was confusing me more was like metal block 2 is 10, 1, 2, 8 for these. And it gets me 15. Over here, it is 10, 1, 2, 5. It costs a little bit less. Um, it's 5 instead of 8 here but it gives me a little bit less. 10 instead of 15 metal 2 blocks. So, therefore, the smelter actually does... It, it is better than I thought it was originally. I will be using the smelter to craft my metal from now on. Uh, speaking of, should I just do this right now? Because I have a bunch of scrap metal. Is there any reason, any other reason to use scrap metal? I don't know. I'm just going to make some more metal. Just a whole bunch of metal. There we go. Got a minute left until wave time. Uh, also, the other thing you guys are saying, which I don't know how feasible this is with my current state of crafting, but with this do bill a favor on the right side of the screen here, Bring tomato and carrot crate from the HQ. As you guys know, the HQ is very, very far away in that direction. It takes me like 10 minutes to run there. And uh, I got to bring tomato and carrot crates back, which are very large. So I'm probably going to need a vehicle, but I don't have any wheels or engines. So I guess I'm going to have to figure out how to build that stuff before I go back there. Yeah, so we might be crafting. We might be, uh, I'm going to try to build my first vehicle to get into the warehouse. And here, you guys. Just... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. The other thing here, I'm going to, how's my inventory doing? It's doing good. Uh, apparently all of this stuff is very destructible with the, uh, the, the, the wolves. Oh, it's wave time. Please don't kill my smelter. All right, come after me. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, yeah, come after me. Oh, my goodness, there's three of them. Well, I have my damage reduction, right? Wait, crafters, why do I have this thing? Crafting system is dead. I already got that before. I'm getting beat up, and I'm trying to read at the same time. Press E to dismiss. There we go. Whoa, how many are there? How, wait, do, was it? Oh, what the, whoa, okay. Well, I'm glad I have my furry armor on. All right, well, there's a bunch of wolf hide. I don't even know if I need wolf hide anymore. All right, can I pick this stuff yet? I actually did pretty good, I think. Uh, so I, objects are still busy. Oh, because I just got to collect this stuff. There we go. I'm going to put this stuff further away from, uh, from my farm because I just don't want the wolves going after it. All right, so I got all my craft benches on me now. Um, I don't, I, I don't know where to put them. I guess I'll just put them around here as well. All right, this is my new area. Hopefully the wolves don't interfere with this. All right, have my crops sprouted yet? They have not. You know, it hasn't rained since the first rain. All right, well, Bill is still stuck, apparently. I got rid of all the obstructions over there, and now he's stuck on my farm. All right, what else we got? I'm going to start putting some more stuff away. I don't need this, uh, these wolf hides anymore. I got to start looking at recipes, and I need another chest. I really need another chest. So I need glue and metal crate. Collect that, and now I can craft the base component, and then we'll have another chest in no time. There we go. Large chest already crafting. Okay, so now for a car, I need wheels. All right, so if I want just a basic old wheel, I need the wheel rims, and I need a wheel tire per wheel. There's a lot of different wheel types. I'm just going to do the most basic wheel. Flotation wheel, that's kind of cool. But I got another chest. Okay, I do already have... I have two wheel components and a rim, and I already have one... Is this just wheel? Is that, oh, that's a large wheel. Mm, I don't want to be making large wheels, so I'm just going to keep that as a bonus part. Okay, let's see. I can already craft one wheel. I'm going to need four. I could get away with three, but how do I craft the wheel rim? Oh, that's easy. I just got to craft a bunch of these. I need six, and the recipe just does six, so I need three more. Now what do I need for the rubber? wheel rubber component thing that's at the chemistry bench whoa plastic and beeswax 
plastic oh my goodness i only have one of those rubber parts on me right now so i need two more wheel tire component oh wait can i craft a wheel tire component over here it's the same all right so 20 and 9 10 and 8 okay so the chemistry bench is way better so i need plastic and beeswax in order to get plastic i need chemical and oil i have a lot of ways to get chemical so in order to get two tire components i only need 10 plastic block in order to get 10 plastic block i need three chemicals and five oil do i have that i have it okay this actually i thought i was gonna have to go harvesting or something oh wait i need engines and stuff too there's so much more to this car all right there and then now i can build two more wheels okay so now i have the wheels i have the base materials to build a car i need an engine i have the i already have the seat so how do i build an engine not here <gasps> my crops just sprouted my crops just sprouted all right hey i'm gonna not plant crops right now i'm gonna let this wave pass because uh level one that was a level one all right anyway what does an engine take do we want a gas engine or electric because it seems how do we generate fuel because these generate batteries consumable fuel just takes oil and then i can get oh, oh it's raining kind of makes me want to plant because i just get free watering of my plants um oh i cannot cannot do oil so it seems like oil is something you have to manually harvest you can't make it in the lab on the benches so that kind of leans me towards uh an electric engine but then what if it's really what if it's actually more complicated than i anticipated to uh manage battery generation gas refueling station any creation moving near it will get its gas containers refilled as long as you supply this part with gasoline <gasps> i need to build this too wait what is this a container casing component i need so many things building a car is complicated in survival all right well i feel like the gas engine is going to be the easiest so i need one cage one engine block one engine exhaust here is a gas engine block component i need bearings fuel and those things all right i need two bearings i believe and then i'm gonna need some fuel which i have already collected some oh i can craft the exhaust there we go get the two bearings now i can craft this and then we'll have everything we need for the engine then i need the gas container so i need the gas container part i do wish the crafting recipes weren't split up so much here i like like the crafting doesn't seem they doesn't the materials aren't really that much but like the recipes are so much more complex <gasps> my inventory's full okay now i can craft engine there we go first engine being crafted. i wonder what it takes to upgrade these if it's different than regular survival so now i'm gonna need four more bear six more bearings one two three four five six this is for one for each wheel and then two for front wheel steering all right look at that engine has been crafted let's take a look at it use the engine upgrade takes four component kits how do we craft component kits i know we can do that two component kits you know what i'm just gonna craft it we'll have two more component kits and i'll be able to upgrade the engine at least once that'll save on some fuel speaking of fuel uh let's craft some fuel seven fuel for eight oil that's not it's not a bad conversion rate that's all of the oil i have all right here we go i got the two component kits and upgrade all right that should increase the, the efficiency also the number of bearings all right so let's keep that on me so now do i have everything i think i have oh wait no i didn't craft the gas container yet oh i need two vacuum pipe connector components and that takes component kits <gasps> i just spent the component kits <laughs> wait wait i have more beeswax hold on this is gonna give me two all right that's actually not too bad now i can craft the gas canister Okay, it's just a lot of crafting right now. I want to know what some of the stuff behind the locking thing is. You know, once I have a vehicle, then I can start uh, thinking about drills for mining. And even saws for uh, harvesting, chopping some wood. Gas container has been obtained. Now let's get my four wheels. All right, I think I have everything I need now. All right, I'm just going to build it out of wood for now. Might regret that later. Metal block one has actually a decent amount of durability, though. But I don't have any more materials left to build it. Polished metal block. That's interesting. It's just like a neutral block. Kind of nice. You're getting a one-to-one -one ratio for metal block. You're basically using your metal block and then adding beeswax to get to turn 20 of them into this. But I'm not getting any more durability out of it. Or no, stat no stat changes at all. 
So I don't, it's not worth it to me. All right, I'm just gonna build it out of wood. I have a lot of wood. Oh, I'm gonna get a wave. I don't have any crops, but I should protect it just so my stuff doesn't get destroyed. So I'm actually gonna hold off on building the car because what if they went after the car? I'm just gonna play it safe there. All right, Bill, let me help you. Let me help you out. There you go. Now go home. There you, there you go. Oh, apparently I can also feed the cows. I forgot about this from the comments. I can just click to feed them. Rather than having to lay it all down in front of them, I can actually click on the cow and it feeds them and it's so much faster. So I actually, I do appreciate that hint. Now I'm just realizing how much slower this was to get to my first car. I'm pretty sure my first survival episode, like you, you start that out with building a car almost. This one, I'm like three episodes in, four episodes in, and now I finally have enough materials to build a car. It's such a completely different progression. Oh, I forgot I had an engine exhaust already. I built one and I didn't need it. All right, let me put some of this excess stuff away. All right, my crops are under attack. My crops that don't actually exist. As long as my benches and benches aren't. Oh, whoa, I thought you were built. So since I'm in the full furry suit, I feel like they should just listen to me. Yeah, I shouldn't have to defend my crops anymore. Is that it? Nope. They are sneaky. They are very sneaky. Whoa, he just did 16 damage. Yeah, they, have, they do critical hits too. Anybody else? You better not be destroying any of my stuff. I'm like super paranoid. Now that you guys said that in the comments, I'm super paranoid about this stuff being in the way. All right, seems good. And now I finally, I don't think I'm gonna have a raid because I didn't plant anything today. All right, now I am ready to build my first car. Got a lift. I wonder if I can, can I save stuff on the... I can save stuff on the lift lift the lift actually works in this survival mod that's awesome okay um vehicle so i'm gonna build it super bare bones because we are in resource conservation stage oh it can't be super super bare bones because it does need uh to be able to carry crates so i'm gonna have a spot in the back for some storage and a spot in the front uh engine is gonna go back here you know what you know what i'm gonna do right now you know what i'm about to do I'm about to do something historic for this playthrough. I am about to use my connection tool for the first time. Look at that. That is going to be the first thing I'm going to do, because if I forget that, my vehicle might just go off without me. Oh, wait, I also need my... I, I forgot how much stuff I got to put on here. I need the fuel canister. All right, actually, in that case, I'm moving the fuel canister. is going to go on the back. And then engine's going to go on the front. And my fuel goes in the fuel canister. That's not a lot of fuel. I think I'm going to have to go on a oil run. Um, before I actually go to the HQ. All right, but as far as the crates go, I may need to put them on the sides. All right, so let's put some steering down. I hope this wheelbase shouldn't be too wide. I think that's great for a wheelbase. It's going to be unfortunate not having suspension, but uh, we are not at that stage in our lives right now. All right, so fuel goes into gas. Uh, this goes into the steering. Gas goes into the bearings. I don't know if all-wheel drive uses more fuel or not for this mod. But now, let's just go ahead and increase this a little bit. And let's try it out. That feels pretty smooth. I wonder how fast it eats up fuel. Let's not waste too much, though. Hopefully, it'll be able to handle... Ooh, it's going to be tough to actually carry the crates, I think. Here, I have a little bit of metal. I just feel like protecting... Like, making, like, a metal bumper just to protect the soft the soft wood of my car. Did I make it uneven? Oh, hold on. All right, I think that looks nice. All right, so I'm hoping I can put a cart here. It'll take up like this amount of space and on the other side. I'll be nice to evenly balanced. All right, but before I go, let's get some more oil and yeah, craft that into gas and try to fill up this gas tank. I'll get some glue clams while I'm here too. It's kind of cover my bases. All right, I've stumbled across a pretty hilarious scene over here. <laughs> Look at what we got going on. We got a cow just teasing these wolves over here. He's, I didn't know cows could swim. Can I actually like, can I, hey, can you, you want to help me out here? Can I uh, not get hurt by these guys? Oh, oh, he's trying, not doing very good though. This is overpowered, just run into the water. All right, I've uh, got all of the oil I could find that was like, it close, oh, I missed some stuff over there, but you know what? I got, I think, I think I got more than enough oil to actually fill the gas canister, so. Let's head back. All right, I'm gonna take a risk here. I kind of just want to see what happens if I kill one of these things. The horns make me a little bit weary, but let's see. Let's just see. Oh, he's coming after me. 16. Okay. He's a, he does a crit. The equivalent of a... Uh, oh, that actually wasn't that bad at all. 
Oh, walk stake. Forgot about those. Okay, I didn't know what to expect. But yeah, he didn't do as much damage as I was expecting. He does like a wolf's critical hit amount. So, not too bad. Bill, what are you doing now? Why are you getting stuck on all my stuff? All right, let's drop some of this stuff off. Uh, I'm just going to put all the glue. Actually, I'll start crafting the glue. I will convert as much of this into fuel as I can. Three uh, glue sh clamshells for one, uh, for three glue. Three for three. Okay, it's the same. So I'm just going to do glue over here while fuel crafts over there. So 10 to 7 over here, but 8 to 7 over here. Way better. All right, I've crafted all of my oil. Let's see uh, how much we got. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. Look at that. We got more than enough. I can make a gas station right now and come and fill that up a little bit. But I'm just going to put the excess over here. I could actually like put it on my vehicle, but I think I got more than enough. Um, all right. I think I'm ready to go to HQ with my security key. Let's do it. All right. The sun is setting now too. Perfect time going through the eye. Right, where, where, where about some lights? What, what does it take to craft some lights? So I will get a headlight with five glass blocks, a light bulb and five metal block one. 10 copper. Well, okay. Not worth it. I'm not going to make a light. Let's just go in the darkness. Where's my vehicle? I could lose my vehicle. What does it take to make a beacon? Uh, it takes a radio. Okay. All right. You know, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to try not to lose my vehicle. How about that? I just backed up my save file in case something catastrophic happens. So, uh, hopefully it won't come to that, but at least I'll have, if anything catastrophic happens and I lose everything, at least I can reload back to when I had my car. But here we go. Keep a, uh, let's see how much fuel. Oh my God. I got to go into first person. Let's see how much fuel it takes to get to HQ. This is going to be hard. All right. Can I do? Yeah, I'm going to do follow camera. There we go. This is like actually super hard to get through. Like I can't see anything. Ah, I hope I don't run into any enemies because like one hit could probably break my wood. I can definitely feel the lack of suspension though. All right. Look at that speed. Like a road, almost. Getting through here with the crates is going to be a nightmare. Why are the woods so dense on the way to the... Oh, that's a rock. I wonder if the drills work any, like, more reliably. Because that was always kind of a sticking point in uh, the regular survival. Was the drills were just really hard to have decent contact with the, the rock nodes. Man, it still is like... Oh my goodness. Wait, I should have saved this on the lift. How about that? Crash lander... Car one. All right. Well, I have the blueprint saved. I don't know how that works. I guess we can find out at some point. I'm assuming I need the materials on hand to build the blueprint. Oh boy, we're going fast now. Woo! Oh my god, it's so bouncy. All right, full speed ahead. Wait, is that a cliff? How do we get a? How do we get up this cliff on the way back? Ready? Here we go. Woo! I hope there's no collision damage. Oh, that was nice. Oh, there's a wolf. No, 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 no. It's actually scary now. Is it coming after me? I don't know if it's coming after me. All right. I also read the comments saying that, uh, that, uh, the banana crate, apparently if I go, I thought I went into the back before. Oh, I see I looked, I went right here and I looked there. I'm like, oh, there's nothing back there. Apparently this was here the whole time. Whoa, whoa. Soil bag, carrot, chemicals times five. Okay. Now we can really see what this warehouse is all about. Uh, I keep forgetting that the door actually opens. All right. We are in the HQ. Is this a security room? Security room key card is required. All right, here we go. Unlock. Yes. Ooh. Oh, wow. It wasn't joking. Staff room key card. Office floor key card. The, the key cards are literally just in here. Whoa. What key card is that? Garage door key card. Wait, I can take the pizza? Pizza slice? Wait, what? I don't remember being able to take pizza slices. Oh, yeah. See, I can't take this one. I could, I could take that one, though. I want to have a pizza slice. I got four pizzas. They stack too. That's awesome. Partially corrupted. Oh, I got to uncorrupt it. Oh, I almost missed this one. Storage room key card. All right. We got all kinds of stuff now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, what's over here? All right. Just an empty bathroom. Actually, I probably should just, just give me a moment. Don't mind me. All right. All right. Feel better now. Okay. Now, should we go to the garage first? There we go. Unlock. Anything dangerous in here? Oh, this is probably where the stuff that Bill's looking for is. I need a tomato and carrot crate. All right, what are we getting here? Gasoline, bearing. Do we really want a scrap wheel? 
What was this? Recipes unlocked. Vacuum pipe, vacuum pipe support, corner T, four way. Okay, all kinds of vacuum pipe stuff has been unlocked. Oh, that's how you unlock that stuff. Use this refueler. So that's what a refueler looks like. That's how it gets hooked up. Kind of showing you examples of how stuff works. All right, here we go. Oh, can't carry here? Why? Do I just, I just gotta like push it? All right, all this stuff looks like I can pick it up, but it is definitely not letting me. Even the cardboard is not destructible. But here's the tomato and the carrot uh, crate. What is this? Storage room key card. There we go. Unlock this. Ooh. All right. Nothing in these. Definitely take that. Anything here? Ooh, what's this? That looks like blueprints. Doesn't that look like a blueprint thing I could pick up? That's not letting me pick it up, though. Staff room key card. What's going to be? Oh. It's just a circle. Okay. All right. I'm assuming once these crates get into like a more open or outside or I don't know. I don't know how these things work. I'm going to hit them over. Wait, can I open up the garage? No, this door doesn't open. All right. I really need to get this through here though. I guess that's why they have the double doors because I got to move this in to the doorway over here. Yeah, like this. And then it'll be on the outside once it loads. All right, there we go. They are in there. I'm just going to leave them there because I still have two key cards left. I've got the encrypted one and I've got the office floor key card, which I think that's like the top. That's, that was at the very top, wasn't it? Is this the office floor? VIP. I need the VIP quarters key card for that. All right, let me continue going up. I think this is where the office was. Is this the office? Yes, office floor key card. Here we go. Wait, why can't I open it? What could be causing this? Isn't this the correct key card? That's, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Something fishy's going on here. Has to be. The light on the on the lock did light up. I don't get it. Could be could it be locked from the inside? Maybe? Uh, how can I get inside through the vents? What about those gases Bill mentioned? Well, that might be my only option. Well, how do I get into the vents now? How do I get into the vents? Still can't open this one. I try Okay, so I gotta find the right vent. Alright, are there any vents? Wait, is this the first floor again? Ah, what about this vent? Oh, I found the vent. Okay. Heh. Heh. Why can't I open it now? Weird. All right, here we go. I'm venting. Do I want to go down? This is like, it's a maze. I feel like I want to go up, right? This one opens as well into the storage area. Well, no poison gases as suspected. There's the, oh, see, I'm more in the area from the last episode. I was like, there's totally a walk, like vents walkway uh, from the piping room. That's where I am right now. What is this? I am so lost. I am very lost. I think I need to go up, but like, I don't know where that could be. Okay, I'm going down apparently. Oh my goodness, I'm going down again. Why? Where am I? I'm in the bathroom? Yeah, I'm in like the first floor bathroom. I need, to, I, just, I need to find more ways up. I hope I don't get lost in here. Too late. Too late for that. Oh, here's an up. What is this? Oh, a little bit of a color change. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, another color change? I just be following the brown spots? I think I'm going the right way now. Oh, okay. I guess follow the brown in the vents. Oh, what was that? Oh. See, that's complicated. Do I go up there or do I keep going straight? I'm gonna, any chance I go up, I'm just gonna go up. Oh, a lot of brown. Okay. But I'm going back down. Oh, here we go up. Uh, no! I'm back at the storage room. Oh no, this is... I've been through here. All right, I'm going to follow the brown again. Wait, that goes up a lot. This is where I came in, I'm pretty sure. I've circled all the way back to where I came in. All right, so that's where I came in. Now I'm going to follow the brown. I keep circling back to the same area. Here we go. Here's the brown again. This path looks promising. Okay, all right. That's the path. I need to, like, figure out how not to get lost from this path now. All right, so I think I went up before. I'm not going to go up this time. This way feels right. There we go. Here we go. We're doing it. Oh. There we go. I can hit that open. That's dangerous. All right, up the ladder. Oh boy, more maze. Okay, where are we? I'm staying right is where we are. There's a really long pathway without any turns or without any um uh, segment or branches. Oh, I'm gonna stay right. I'm gonna keep going right. All right, looks like this might be the upper piping room. Oh, hold on. Wait, is that reversible? All right, good, it is. I think I'm in the upper piping room. Wait, is this just a normal piping room? I'm not even in the upper piping room? Oh. All right, I'm gonna go back because I don't think this is where I'm trying to go. I still I still need to go up, I think. I think I'm on the second floor, but there's a third floor. Right, I'm gonna go right. I think I'm gonna go right. Oh, there's a ladder. <gasps> 
think I'm on the right track. Yes, I was right. All right, I am inside the office. Oh, blueprints. I unlocked the refine bot and the resource collector. Nice. That's actually pretty pretty big. Pretty big news. All right, I'm gonna be like I don't even know what I'm looking for up here. Look around for cards or clues. I think I'm on the clues aspect of that. Oh, the batteries. Oh, that's eight batteries. I feel like that's pretty good. I'm checking like, whoa, that's weird. See, I can't pick up this water or sun shakes or milk, but I can pick up all the other ones. Oh, what's this? Piping room key card floor two. All right, that's good. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 what did that do? That's hidden. What did that do? I feel like I'm playing hide and seek right now. Oh, look at this. Wow, there's some hidden stuff in here. What did that switch do? That's so hidden. I have no idea what it did, but I have it on now. So I'm just gonna keep it on. All right, so I came out of that vent. I searched, I think, every single cubicle. It looks like, oh, we got, um, what? Okay, I'm scared. Uh, there are more people. Why are there more people here? I thought everyone was gone. Who are you? How'd you get in here? I'm a mechanic from Wonk Enterprises. Wonk Enterprises bought this planet to harvest. Okay, we get it, but how'd you get inside? All the doors are keycard locked and there are no windows. Well, the front door was unlocked. That's how I got inside. I also did use the vents to get in here. So there is that. I wonder if they believe in the poison. Yep, they do. How are you still alive? <laughs> Why would I be dead? The vents containing poisonous ga gases. One of our colleagues got really sick from just inhaling it through the vents. That You would all be sick. That The vents would be ventilating it throughout the whole place. Seems like the vents are now clean. Okay, sure. Are you sure you don't feel funny? I mean, I'm a man standing in front of you in a full-on wolf suit. No, I'm fine. I feel really good. And I found more people that could help me, probably. I was given the task to locate the reserves and start harvesting. As I was entering the atmosphere, my ship caught flames. Okay, this is basically what happened at the beginning. Why do I need to come up here, though? The storage room is in the ground floor. This is the only door I couldn't open even with a key card. The reason I came here was because I couldn't come here. Where did you get the key cards from? From the security room. How'd you get its key card? All right, these guys need to work on their communication skills. Oh, they know about Bill. They're asking me how I know Bill. He's our friend. We've been looking for him everywhere. Hmm, he said everybody left. You guys might have been the friend he told me about who also didn't agree with what Forterra was doing. Yes, yes, yes. I have to tell Bill that his friend stayed for him. All right, let's get back to Bill. He wants me to tell Bill to come to HQ so that they can leave the planet with him. You have a spaceship or something? Because I'm trying to get off this planet too. Nope, but we don't have a way, but Bill sure can find a way. Well, he hasn't yet. He's just built a house. I think he likes it here. Maybe we can work together to get off the planet. Bill already helped me a little bit. I think he also wants to get off the planet. If Bill trusted you, then we can trust you too. But how do you plan on getting off this planet? Okay, well, they seem like, they actually seem like uh, not bad guys. So that's good. All right, well, I need to find my ship. So I'm trying to scavenge some useful stuff. Or maybe we can scavenge some stuff from the ship. Okay. We can help find it. Good. Can you guys give me some materials? All right. They're going to wait here while I go tell Bill. You guys came from the crew area. Let's turn some lights on in here. See where you've been staying. How is it in here? Ooh. Oh, I could take that. I got a revival baguette. I can't really use it on myself, but. All right. Uh, So I haven't gone this way. Wait, have I been here? Archive room. No, I have not been here. Boss? A boss room key card is needed. Deputy's room key card. Whoa. Oh, there's the front office door. So this is the door I couldn't get in. All right, I think I'm good with that area. But now I need the pipe room key card for level two. What is the point of this level? I'm still unsure what that switch did that I found underneath the table. I feel like I didn't do anything. Where is this going? Oh, I was in here. This was the pipe room uh, level two that I came out at. Okay, but then... Whoa, pipe room stairs key card I need for this. There's a lot of strange... This is a lot of key cards. Uh, I am not sure... Oh, no connections. I feel like I'm gonna have to come back here at some point and turn these all on and it's gonna like do something. Oh my God, they're just like free range around the whole area now. That's cool. All right, I think I got what I needed. So let's hope that this works with these crates and that I can actually put them on my vehicle. Here we go. They are out here with me. I can pick this up. And hopefully, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so bad. Whew, look at this. How does it feel? Doesn't feel too bad. I feel like I wanna lower them actually. Whoa, I only used two fuel to get all the way here. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I think it is weight based though. So there is that. All right, let's, uh, let's go in the words of Mario. Oh boy. See, at least they kind of prevent me from tipping over now. 
But I gotta figure out... Oh, let's actually put Bill's house on our waypoint. I'm feeling... I actually feel a little bit more stable. Which is nice. They've added more weight to me. So I'm like less bouncy. And they also added just more width to uh, prevent me from tipping over sideways. So... This is going to be pretty good until I get into the woods. Then they're going to be hitting the trees all over the place, probably. I wonder if there's a better pathway that avoids the woods that I can keep the throttle open and go faster. Oh! Oh, no! I can't put it on a lift. I can use my lift, though. It's not working. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This does it. This will do it. Come on. There we go. I didn't think I was going to be able to flip over. I just had too much speed, I guess. All right, let's, uh, let's try to get back. I made it with very little issue, actually. That was actually awesome. And I realized as I was passing some wolves. I realized that the wolves actually aren't going to attack me because of my uh, suit, unless I attack them first. So uh, he's having a little problem over there. I'm going to leave him be, though. All right. So, hey, Bill, I got your stuff. All right, we got some big news, Bill. Ooh, he gave me some broccoli seeds and some banana seeds. Inventory full. Here, Bill, you can have this. I don't want it. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it back here. All right, so we got some talking to do. Took my sweet time. What did I find? Thanks to the key guard, I was able to get the key guards inside the security room. All right, I found your friends inside of the office. They didn't want to leave you behind. I don't know their names, but you should know who they are. It wasn't... A, he, he's questioning whether it was a trap. I thought it was going to be a trap, too. I did not tell them where you lived, but they do want to see you and ask if you could come to HQ. I'll see them when I'm free. What do you mean, when you're free? You got plans? You got... You got, you got friends you're meeting on the weekends? Like, what is... I have quite a lot of stuff to do right now. Don't tell them where I live. I love this house I made, and I don't want to go back to HQ. It's more comfy here. Well, what should I say? Wait, quest completed. Oh, that, that was weird. That seemed incomplete. But uh, it looks like now I can choose a qu Kill four bears? What? Bring food crates to Justin? Who's Justin? Pizza and veggie burger recipe. 50 ember, 40 beeswax, 30 glue. Sickle recipe. That actually sounds good. Build a shed for Bill. I knew you could do this. You're not a mechanic for nothing. How do I build a shed? Oh, no. Oh no! This is actually kind of cool. It's like a one of those like practice blueprints things. Oh, wait, how much fuel do I have left on my car? Whoa! So I used two fuel to get there, but I used five fuel to get back. So that is actually kind of interesting. All right, and then just for aesthetics, and because I only have one left, I'm just gonna put this one on the back like that. All right, so I'm just gonna move all of my benches out of the way here out of the build zone and then see if I can actually build what he wants me to build. So I need the brick block. How much do I need? Unclear. I have five. How much, how do I build more brick block? Right, I'm going to build 40. I feel like I might need more than that. Whoa. Yeah. I'm going to have to build some very specific pieces. Wait, I got to build like shelving in here too. No way. All right. Well, let's continue along. This is kind of, I like this way of building stuff. It like it shows you how to build it. It's like teaching you how to build it. It's like starting at the foundation too. All right, I am so close to being done. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I need literally one more brick block. And by done, I mean done with the uh, the first step, the foundation. All right, here we go, final block. Wow. Okay, this is actually really complex. So this is wood. Wood goes like all the way around. What if I put something in like the wrong spot? I'm gonna build up to there. Now a different block goes here. Oh, it marks it red. That's cool. Man, and then look at these pieces. I don't even know what those pieces are. Those don't exist in regular scrap mechanic. All right, well, I'm pretty much out of wood now. So this looks really cool. I like this kind of building concept. I think this should be, this should be like a thing for just learning how to build blueprints. Imagine if you downloaded any blueprint that you could have this option, just like a tutorial on how to build it. Download any blueprint from the workshop, and then it shows you how to build it piece by piece. Although, to be fair, it would be kind of impossible, I think, for the game to automatically know what the foundation pieces are that you need to start with, but cool in concept. But uh, I'm going to have to do some harvesting to finish this quest in particular, but I think I made some pretty good progress here. I built my first car. This cow seems to like it. I I'm curious, if I delete this, do I get the parts back? I don't know how the lift system works in survival yet. Maybe you guys can tell me down in the comments below so I don't have to find out the hard way if I lose my vehicle or if like the parts get saved with the blueprint and then I can spawn it in anywhere. That'd be the ideal situation. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below. 
Uh, I'm going to continue this in the next episode, so make sure you are subscribed so you do not miss that. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.